Hi guys, today I have an extremely exciting, to me anyway, video because I was so lucky to be sent something so exciting from Octoly and these are the, let me get the name straight, these are the Ombre Hypnose Stylo Eyeshadow Sticks by Lancome and they decided to send me the whole collection, or not the whole collection, but uh, seven of them, which is I think half of their collection. I could be wrong. But this was a bundle that you could apply for and I was so lucky that they accepted my request. So I cannot wait to try these out. I am literally so excited. So like I said, I got these sent to me for free through Octoly. So, you know, it's such an honor to be able to get sent something from a brand that's like so prestigious. Like I am so grateful right now and I, I don't know, It's just this is just a little bit overwhelming because these retail for like $160, so this is like by far the biggest thing that I've ever gotten sent for free, so thank you so much to Lancome for sending these my way. I do not have to make a separate video on these, but I feel like they really deserve it, and Lancome was also kind enough to send me the mascara, and this is the Hypnos Drama Mascara, as well as the CILS Primer Booster, I think this is called. I don't know what CILS stands for, but you know, it's a fancy name and I'm all about fancy stuff. So we are going to be trying out all these products today and I'm so excited. So I don't really know how I'm going to go about this. I think maybe we should start by swatching the eyeshadow sticks. So let me just tell you a little bit about them first because I was curious myself. I was like an eyeshadow stick. I haven't really tried any of those before so I don't really know how they work. So it says here, simply twist up the shadow stick and apply the ultra creamy and blendable waterproof formula all over the eyelid. So it's waterproof, that's great. Mix and match with more shades to create more looks. When the tip gets dull, unscrew the sharpener on the back to refine the point. The matte metallic stylos can also double as waterproof eyeliner, available in 15 shades. So it comes in 15 shades. And the main reason I was intrigued by these is because it said that they could be used as eyeliners. And I love my eyeliner so much, you guys know this. So, all right, so I guess how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start off by swatching them on my arm first, and then we can get into applying them on the eyes after. I think that's a good idea. So. Let's start off with number 26. This one is called Or Rose. And I have no idea how these are going to perform because I haven't swatched them at all. And this is super creamy and it's just a very, very light pink. I think that is beautiful. Next up we have number 27, which is just called Bronze. Ooh, that is super creamy. Then we have number 28, which is called Rubus. And this looks to be a bit of a brown. So more of like a coppery brown, I guess. I'm so bad at describing colors, you guys. I literally have no idea what anything really is. So next up we have number 30, which is called Amethyst. And this looks to be a beautiful purple. That is really, really pretty. The next one that we have is a blue one and it's called Blue Chrome. Oh yeah. Ooh, I need this one on my eyes today. That is so pretty. And these are really so creamy, so I, I, f I have a good feeling about these. My only concern really is whether or not they're going to crease on me, but I mean, pigmentation-wise, I think these are going to be really easy to work with. Next up, we have a black one, which is just called Onyx, and this is number 32. Again, super creamy, and I love having a creamy, very thick eyeliner because I feel like this is going to be really good as a base if I wanted to do like a big black wing. And the last one that we have is called Mono Gold. It just looks to be a bit of an orangey gold. And that is really pretty as well. So I think I'm going to just prime my eyes before putting these on just to make sure that I have an even base to begin with. So I'm just taking some of my MAC paint pot and then I'm going to go ahead and set this. So I think the plan that I have is that I want to just make a really like big giant graphic kind of wing. So I'm going to use, maybe I'll use three of them and then I'll do one in the waterline or something like that. I definitely want to use the blue. I think I want to use the purple as well and the black. So I guess I will start off with the black and I'm going to draw the last third of my wing. And I'm just going to have you guys watch because I don't really know how to explain this. But I'm going to start on my lower lash line and just kind of smudge this. And this is going on super easily, about the last third of my eye or so. And then I'm going to start bringing this up and creating a wing shape. And when I have the angle the way that I want it, I'm going to start bringing it in. And then I'm just going to fill in 
all of this. And I mean, this is going on so smoothly. Now the hard part, of course, is going to be to get it to look the same on the other side. So I think I'm going to use this sharpener or just make sure that this is sharp enough. And then I'm going to try to replicate this. So I think this is looking pretty even or at least even enough, as I like to say. So what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to go in with the purple next and then I'm going to do the blue on the inner part of my eye. So I'm going to take this one now, which was called Amethyst. And I'm going to place that in the middle of my eye, also in the middle of my bottom lash line. And I definitely want to say that I think the black one is a lot creamier than the purple one. But I still have no problem getting it onto my eye. And just to blend the edges here, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to take my Morphe M149 brush and just take a little bit of this on the brush because that way I have way more control and I'm going to start blending these into each other. And then for the last inner part of my eye, I'm going to take this blue one and I'm so excited. This one was called Blue Chrome. And I'm basically going to put that all over the rest of my lid, except for just right in my inner corner. I'm going to leave a tiny bit of room for something else, which I haven't really decided yet, but let's go in with this blue now. And the blue one again is just as creamy as the black. So I want to say that the blue is definitely better than the purple. It did crumble a little bit, but that's just because it was so sharp that the tip kind of fell off because I pressed too hard, but that was totally not the pen's fault. That was my fault. Okay, so I got the blue down now and I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting this as opaque as I would like for it to be. So I think it's just because I'm trying to layer it over a darker shadow and that maybe this one would be better just on its own. But it does seem to layer if I just wait for it to dry down. So I'm going to kind of finesse this a little bit now and make sure that all the edges in between the colors are looking blended and stuff. And then I'll come back and we can put on the last color and finish up with the mascara. So I think this is going to be as good as I'm going to get it and I think in my inner corner I want to use this uh, kind of goldy copper shade, the one that's called mono gold. So I'm going to put that in the last part of my eye here. Oh, I love this. Like this is layering on top of the blue a lot better than the blue was layering on top of the purple. Again, I'm just going to take the brush and make sure that the edges are blended. So we've come this far, we might as well try another one. So I'm going to go in with the pink one, which is called Or Rose, and I'm going to put that into my waterline. And this is mostly what I think I'll be using these for, so hopefully this is going to be a good eyeliner. And I mean, it's definitely going on my eye, which is great. All right, so that went on super smoothly. I like this. Yeah, that's nice. That's actually a very good alternative to like a nude liner, which I like having a nude liner, but this one is kind of shiny, which I kind of like that. So let's get into the mascaras, I think. Like I said, I have tried these before. I am going to curl my lashes first though, because I always do that. But I have played around with the mascara and I think that the mascara is good. I don't know if I would say it's worth the price, but that's just because I have my Holy Grail mascara, as you guys know, which is my Bad Gal Bang, and I have yet to find any mascara that really measures up to this, but I really like the primer. I think I like the primer more than I like the mascara, so I'm kind of curious now because I want to compare the two, so I'm going to put primer on just one of my eyes and not the other eye. So I'm going to put the primer on the right eye, and I don't know why I have not used this primer yet with any of my colorful... Colourpop mascaras because I feel like this primer would be awesome for that Because it definitely gives you a lot of length and volume And I'm pretty sure a lot of people swear by this primer 
Like I feel like you can already see like what this does for my lashes. So I'm going to go in with the mascara now on the other side. So here's what the wand looks like. It's a very big fluffy kind of curved wand and you guys know how I feel about like the curved wands. I'm not the biggest fan, but I do like the formula of this and I think it does a pretty good job. And it also layers pretty well and it doesn't get too clumpy, which I really appreciate. So that is one layer on this side and I'm now going to go in on the other side with the primer. And I haven't actually compared these before. I've only used the primer on both eyes, either with this mascara or with other mascaras. And I really like the primer, but I don't know exactly what the primer does or doesn't do. So we're gonna find out. And you can tell that the mascara is easily covering up the white primer. And I definitely feel like this side is a lot longer than the other side. And it also looks to be more separated. But this side seems to have a little bit more volume, or maybe not. No, I can definitely see the difference in the side. So I'm going to put on a bit more on this side now and try to make them look even. And I will say, I really think that this mascara is a really, really good formula because I'm able to build up my lashes to look really nice with this. But I'm having to spend more time with it, which is like... I guess my main issue is that it just takes longer to get the result that I like in my mascara than it does with my normal mascara. But I also don't really mind spending time on my lashes since I don't wear falsies. I'd rather spend that time trying to build up my mascara. So you can tell now with two coats on this side, it's looking about the same as one coat on the other eye with the primer. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And I am going to put some mascara on my lower lash line, but I'm not going to use this one because the wand is just a little bit too big for that. So I guess this is going to be the completed look. So to sum up how I feel about these eyeshadow sticks, I think that there are some that are better than others. Personally, I think the black one was amazing. I can't wait to use that, especially as a base if I'm planning to do a very dramatic black smoky eye. I could see using the black and just smudge that all over the lip because it went on so smoothly and so creamy. But the purple wasn't as opaque as I would have liked for it to be. And also I had a hard time like mixing the purple in with the blue, which was one of the selling points that they would like mix and match and be very blendable, which I didn't necessarily find to be the case even though they are very creamy. But I think that could just be because the purple wasn't as opaque as I wanted it to be. Uh, all the other ones that I tried, I really, really like, and I'm super grateful and I'm so happy to have these. And I'm so excited to be able to have these in my collection to play with, because this is not something that I would have bought myself because I mean, these are pretty expensive and it's just not something that I use often enough for me to want to invest in. So I hope that makes sense. But, you know, having them, I'm so happy I have them because I think these are so cool. So can't wait to keep playing with these. And as for the mascara, like I said, I think the primer is better than a mascara. So if you were wondering and you were planning on picking up one or the other, I would say pick up the primer and use that with whatever mascara you're already using. I think you're going to get a better result than just buying the mascara on its own. Obviously, if you want to buy both the mascara and the primer, they're going to work really nicely together because they're meant to work together. So yeah, I think that is going to sum up this video. Let me know if you've ever tried anything similar to this because I have not and I was pleasantly surprised. And I think these are so cool and so fun and I can't wait to keep playing with them. So thank you so much again to Langcombe for sending these my way. It means a lot to me and I would not have been able to, you know, try out these products if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you to you guys for being so supportive of my channel. It really does help me out a lot. Trust me, every comment I get, every like I get on every video, it just, it makes me smile. It warms my heart so much and you guys mean the world to me. So Thank you so much as always, I really do appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and becoming part of my family and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye.